this temporary situation is going to last forever and then makes us just overthink, overthink and being so stressed. And I see, I have seen a lot of people also, just when I'm looking at my Facebook, for example, I have seen a lot of friends complaining that God has forgotten, forgotten about me. God has forsaken me. God is not listening to my prayer. God is, you know, this and that and this and that. And many times you have to remember that what the way you think. crashes on buses i'll tell you all about this book okay after this quick video i wanted to make for you guys i'll let you know all about this book it's a really really good book and i want you to read it you are going to fall in love okay i'll tell you all about it but let's go ahead and um let's proceed with the message that i have for you today that i think is very very most definitely important hi guys i know it's been a while i know i haven't been on youtube i know i haven't made a video and uh, the reason why it's simply because i have been extremely busy like that's really the reason why just for me to even stand today to make this video you will not even believe what sacrifices i have made okay so that's the reason why and secondly i don't really like the way you and also i don't like i really hate the way youtube runs its platform i don't like it when you have issues with youtube they'll be like oh we are going to be responding to you in about 72 business hours and it takes about three to six months so i don't like that so this is why i decided to basically take away all my monetizations and all of that and uh just come from time to time when i do have something to to say because i i love sharing what i have to say that's the main purpose for me making videos okay so lately i have seen a lot of people that either i know or uh, someone that i know knows and uh, basically, I have seen a lot of people committing suicides, and it's really sad, okay? Just about three weeks ago, someone that my husband knows very well ended up throwing themselves in front of a train, and that made my husband really, really sad, you know? And many times you wonder what gets into people's minds to, to come to that point of taking their own lives and uh and it's quite sad because many times we fight to survive you know we, we want to live we fight and then we see other people just taking their lives but it's not because they really wanted to do it it's they gradually get into that point and and you know, until they get into a breaking point to where they want to take out their own lives and a lot of it has to do with stress a lot of it has to do with stress guys i'm telling you stress kills you slowly and without us realizing it many times we are stressed and stress is killing so and this is many times is we think situations that we go through in life is permanent or it's going to be definite we forget that a lot of situations, if not all situations, are temporary. Even life itself is temporary. So a lot of things we go through, they will not last. It's a temporary thing that eventually you will basically get hold of something, okay? Something's going to come to where you overcome the situation that you are currently in something that's killing you something that you think you will never get out of and because we think that oh this temporary situation is going to last forever and then makes us just overthink overthink and being so stressed 
and I see, I have seen a lot of people also, just when I'm looking at my Facebook, for example, I have seen a lot of friends complaining that God has forgotten, forgotten about me, God has forsaken me, God is not listening to my prayer, God is, you know, this and that and this and that. And many times you have to remember that what the way you think is not the way God thinks, okay? What you think is basically our minds, you cannot compare your mind in, to God's mind. Okay, the way you see is not the way God sees. And I'll give you a perfect example. Just about three months ago, uh, you know, my baby, I had to stop breastfeeding him. Okay, I had to put a stop because I know he's growing. You know, he's over a year. He's going to be two years soon. So I'm like, I have to stop breastfeeding him. But breast milk is... Or was I think still is because he still looks for it even though it's been three months, but that was his number one food. That was his number one. How can I say it? Like he loved it so much, and to him, when I took him off of it, he probably thought, "Wow, I mean, how evil can my mom be? She knows that this is my thing. She knows that I love it very much. How can she take it away from me?" However, I knew that, or I know that he's going to get over it and he's going to be okay. I know that, but he doesn't know. In his mind, he probably thinks that I'm like the most evil woman at the moment, right? Because I took away something he loves the most, something he loves so much. But I know that in order for him to grow, I had to stop it. I had to stop so that he can grow, so he can see life in a different way. Basically, so he can grow. Think about it the same as, as God. He knows what is good for us. He he for like he has he foresees it. He knows, but we don't know. So many situations that we may be going through or we are going through is so that we can become someone or somebody God has intended for you to become. You just don't know it. So you may, you know, maybe you have even lost someone you love so much. I have lost my mom two years ago. I have lost my mother. And I'm telling you that when that happened two years ago, I couldn't even put my knees down and pray because I thought that God has absolutely betrayed me. I, I thought like, how can God do this to me when I trust him, when I trusted in him? And how can he take away someone that I love so much? But that goes like, it, it what goes. I'm saying is, we, first of all, we have a free will, okay? God has given us free will. So sometimes when someone, for example, dies, maybe, just maybe, it was their own wish at the last minute. We don't know. So just think about the example I have given you earlier that me taking away my son's most precious meal, he hated me, okay? I'm, I'm going to tell you, like, I've, I've seen him looking at me, like, with evil eyes. How can this woman do this to me? But I know he's going to be okay. He's going to move on with his life. He's going to be fine. But he doesn't know. He does not know. So it's same with God. Think about it that way, okay? Just think about it that way. God is preparing you for something great. God is preparing you to become someone great. You don't know it. And maybe you have to go through whatever you are going through now so you can become stronger, so you can handle what's coming your way. You don't know it, but God knows, okay? And remember, many situations, if not all situations, are temporary. Okay, I mean, how many times you have been in, in a situation where you wonder, oh my God, how am I, am I ever going to get out of it? Am I ever going to be okay? And many times, I'm pretty sure you, you basically moved on into, a, into the next chapter and you have even forgotten about it. I remember days I used to wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning, driving probably almost 60 miles, 
just to go drop my kid off at daycare. At that moment, I was like, oh my goodness, when is this going to end? You know, but that ended years ago. So remember, situations are temporary. And sometimes instead of putting yourself deep into stressing out because of the situation you are currently staying in or living in, start thinking outside of the box. What can I do in the meantime in a positive way so that I can handle this stress? Because the more stress you are putting into your mind, into your body, doesn't give you anything positive. It's doing nothing but damaging not just your mind, but your body as well, okay? You will not believe that having a stress-free life even makes you less sick, okay? I know we are humans, humans, and we stress out. Sometimes you can't help it, but you got to move on, okay? When you stress out, get up, take a deep breath, and think about it in a positive way, you know? What kind of positive can I get out of it and remember that whatever I'm going through is just temporary it's not gonna last and start thinking what can I do what kind of little alternatives I can do to change this situation that I am in now remember the more you stress the more you are going to think have negative thoughts and that can lead you, lead you into suicide okay you don't want that you may go, you know, you may take your own life. That's fine. But what about the people you are leaving behind? The people you're leaving behind, the people that love you. Because once you're gone, you're gone. But it's the people that are left behind who suffer. Those people suffer and, and you don't want that, okay? Do it. Think about your loved ones, okay? So just take a deep breath and remember it shall pass. It's temporary, okay? So now I wanted to talk to you about a book that I have read and I fell in love the way the author is writing and just the messages in the book. And it's only a 70, 70 page book that you are going to absolutely fall in love. Okay. Crashes on buses. Okay. Again, I'm going to put the link below so that you can buy this book and read it. You are going to absolutely fall in love, okay? I loved it. Oh my gosh. It's like, especially the way the author is writing. She's a black author and I absolutely love this book, okay? And um, I'm going to read you a little bit of it, just a little paragraph of it. And... And I hope that it's going to make you want to read more, okay? So I'm going to read you a little bit. It happened kind of the same way I've seen it happen in movies. We all stood in the private waiting room. I knew I had lost her from the moment I saw her life. I saw her on life support. Her eyes bulged out of her face. However, I still tricked my brain into thinking that she would get off life support. As I sat there, angry with God and myself, I tried to think of all the positive stories I read about people who made it through life support. It was the first time in my life that I shed my pants. No one tells you that it's an actual thing. I was so nervous that I ran into the bathroom and literally pooped. I was furious with myself and in this belief that in the middle of my mother being on life support, my moronic body found it necessary to take a huge dump. And mind you, before being stuck in the hospital with much anguish, I had been constipated for two weeks and hadn't eaten in, well, I want you to buy the book buy the book and read the rest of the story it's amazing okay it's sad it's funny it's it's gonna make you angry i would say like all of the emotions inside this 70 page book okay all right so guys 
everyone that is subscribed to my channel i know i feel like i have let you down um i haven't been making videos i promise i will be more frequent probably around may or june of this year only because i'm i just i have so much going on i'm doing a lot of stuff that personal stuff good things good good things okay but it's not giving me the time to to just to, to make the videos okay something else if you are interested in the outfit that i'm wearing okay If you're interested okay I'm going to put how you can get hold of me if you're interested in this outfit because I've been getting getting so many compliments if you are interested I'll let you know how to reach out to me so we can make it happen for you okay you can choose many different designs the sky is the limit really so if you're interested it's really kind of like a crop top and a skirt okay so let me know if you're interested and we'll, we'll we will make it happen for you all right check out my shoes guys check it out okay so i hope you have enjoyed the video okay i hope you have enjoyed it so i don't know yet when i'm going to make the next video can you see me <laughs> i don't know when i'm going to make my next video okay but stay tuned i'm going to have uh, more videos you know check out my old videos okay check out check out my old videos my old advices you are going to fall in love okay so give me until june god's willing and i know he will okay i believe in god i trust in god so it is going to happen so around june or maybe around may june or july i'm going to be more frequent okay all right i am loving my outfit guys okay you can have it you can make it yours all right Ciao.